How's it going, everyone? It is Ethan and Encoder, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. We are currently on episode 26 of Mini. In this episode, we go through and reiterate on those date selectors that we worked on last episode and actually make it so that whenever we click on them, they have some drop down items. This took a lot of logic, so that way we're working on it in this episode. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code and I'll show you guys how to do that. We're getting one step closer. So now, whenever we hit this drop down, we're going to want to be able to actually view the correct months, the correct days, and the correct years. So that's what we're going to do next. So we are going to go into our utils and we're going to make a new file. We're going to call this date utils.tsx. This may get moved later, I'm not sure yet. So we need to set up a few functions for our dropdown. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a string called const months. This is going to be string array equal to, and this is going to have all of our months in it. So we'll just have an empty month, January, February, March, whoops, April, May, No, it's not what I wanted. This keyboard is a little bit finicky. June, July, August, September, October. November and then December. I could have just copy pasted this. I probably should have, but it is what it is. Um, December. All right. So I think I've got all those right. We're going to need those for our first method or function, which is called export const get months. So here's what we're going to do. This is going to take in no values and it's going to return our JSX dot element array that we can loop through and display on the page. So we're going to say return months.map. And then this is going to take in a month in an index. And what we're going to do is we are going to say if index is equal to zero, we are going to return an option with the value equal to index, AKA zero, and key equal to the month. All right. And then otherwise, we're going to return option, the value equal to index, the key equal to month. And then inside here, we're going to have the month. So now whenever we save, and if we would put this inside of our dropdowns, it'll show all of the months the way they want. Otherwise, if we don't have a month selected, it's going to show blank. So next we want to export the day dropdown. So export const get days. And then this is going to be the same thing. It's going to return jsx.element array like so. And then we're just going to say let options be a jsx dot element of arrays or array of element like so equal to an empty array and here's what we'll do we'll say for what i equal to zero and then we'll say i is less than 32 we're just going to loop through and append to these so we'll say if i is equal to zero which will be at least once we'll say options dot push we'll push in a new option option with the value equal to zero or we could have just done i it doesn't really matter the key is going to be zero and then finally we don't want any valid option to drop down otherwise what we'll say is options dot push We'll add in a new option with the value equal to I. 
in the key equal to i and then the actual value inside the option will show i finally we will go ahead and return options all right so now we have our days for our drop down finally we need our years so let's go ahead and do that it's going to be similar export const get years equal to an empty thing and this is going to return jsx dot element array just like before and inside here we're going to say let um options and this is going to once again be a jsx dot element array this is going to equal to an empty array to start out we're going to for loop through here for let i equal zero i is greater than actually I did this wrong i is going to equal 2023 i is going to be greater than 1901 we're going to subtract and go backwards so we're going to start at value essentially 2020 and we're going to say if i is equal to 2023 it's not 2023 yet so we're going to say options dot push and we're going to say option value equal to zero and then we're going to say key equal to i and finally we're not going to have any valid option inside there similar to above otherwise options dot push we're going to push in an option the value equal to i the key is also going to be i and then inside of here it'll say i return those options once again and now we can populate our drop downs very easily so let's go ahead and hop back in to our date input and now instead of returning these values let's go ahead and import get month get days and get years from dot dot slash dot dot slash utils slash oh go back farther now it's going to be utils whoops slash date utils so grab those so now to get our months we're going to return get months for our days get days and for our years get years now get rid of this get rid of this now if we save and open up the application we should see our month has the months our day has up to 31 days and our years has all the way down to 1902 from 2022 we also have an empty one that if it's empty it won't actually work so now we'll go ahead and set up the styles and kind of um, change some things that way we can actually determine whether or not the styles and everything are correct so let's go ahead and come back into vs code go into our determined styles.util and at the bottom of the page we'll go ahead and add a new uh, function this is going to be called export const determine validated select style and this is going to take in active, which is Boolean, and valid, which is Boolean. This will return a string like so. This is primarily, I think, going to do the label. So if we're not valid, whoops, if not valid, we'll return error. This should be a string. So we'll return the string error. If we are active, we will return blue. Otherwise, we'll just return gray by default. So these are the different styles that we want to use and save. Now, finally, we just need to go ahead and use this determined styles inside of our validated date selector. So let's go back to our validated date selector 
and go ahead and import this and get rid of this material UI that we accidentally imported a second ago. So import, uh, determine, uh, validated, select style, I think is what we called it. Determine, validated, and we spelled determine wrong. Of course we did. Determine, validated, select style from dot dot slash, um, dot dot slash. This is gonna be inside of our U, is it U? I think it's in our utils. Yes, it is, save. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is inside of, the so inside of our validated date selector, I'm gonna save this. We're going to add another piece of state, const color and set color is equal to use state string and we're going to set this to gray by default we are going to update the color to this so go into our label color instead of being gray we're going to set this to our color state and then we also need to go ahead and import use effect like so and below our different functions we're going to say use effect and we are going to watch the changes on the active state the valid prop and also the value state and we're going to say set color and we're going to set the color to determine validated select style and we will pass in active and we will pass in valid so now it should change the color of the top label as we click on and off. We don't have any way to validate it right now. So currently it's not going to be able to turn red. But if we click on this, you see it turns blue. We click off, it turns gray, so on and so forth. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.